So this dish is called a salad mimosa, and it could be served alone, or it could be served with cardiac party. Uh, the shakes that I used to feed would love to have this with the, with the cardiac party because it's a, it's a good palate cleanser, it's a light dish, and it's a good follow-up to that, that dish. Anyway, you just take Boston lettuce, uh, find a nice bowl, and uh, take the uh, darker leaves first, put it around, and then the smaller leaves go next, and then the smallest leaves go right in the middle. And make it look like a flower, basically. And then you have your olive oil, and your lemon juice, and your egg yolks. Now let's talk about egg yolks, so, or hard-boiled eggs. The perfect hard-boiled egg, a lot of people have asked me, you just simply do this. Start them in cold water, bring them to a boil, turn it off, time it for 10 minutes exactly, and you get the perfect egg. And the way you can tell a perfect hard-boiled egg is that there's no gray around the outside of the egg. It's all yellow, bright yellow. These jump out at you. Anyway, and then the other thing is cracked pepper. Uh, use a really good teller cherry pepper or a um, Malabar pepper. And so we're ready to begin this dish. And there's only one technique involved in this, and that's straining the egg yolks. You want to find a, not a fine strainer and not a coarse strainer, but something in between. I'm sure you can find something in your own home. You just take them, put them in the strainer, and take the back of a spoon, or I prefer to use a ladle, and you just push them through and make them very, very fine. And, and it would be best if they chill them, because if you chill your egg yolks, then uh, they'll go through a lot easier. They'll become harder as opposed to right out of the uh, pot. And you can just do this, tap it down. You don't have to use it all if you don't want, but whatever you have left over can be used in egg salad sandwiches or whatever. And that's basically it. So once you get this done, and uh, one other story I want to tell you about the shakes is one of the first times they ever came to America, they, they saw an above the ground swimming pool and they thought it was a very unusual thing because their sand shifts so much in Saudi Arabia and Kuwait that they thought this was a great thing to buy their friends. So one of the first things I had to do was I had to find a hundred swimming pools for them. And I can't tell you how many people hung up on me when I would call them up and say, so do you have any above the ground swimming pools? And they would say, yeah. And I'd say, how many do you have? And they'd say, eight or ten. And I'd say, I'll take them all. And they'd, they'd hang up on me. And I'd have to call them back up again with a credit card and say, okay, wait a second. You know, this is for the, the, the Saudi shakes. And they'd hang up on me again. So it, it took me about, uh, I had to call all the way from Arizona, New Mexico, Southern California to, to find them 100 swimming pools. And we also had to rent a 747 for them to take them back. Anyway, that's a very quick story to tell you. Uh, you just take your uh, ground egg yolks. And you, this is, uh, the reason it's called Sally Mimosa is you want to make it look like a mimosa flower. So the egg yolks are going to just act like the pollen. And you just sprinkle it on top like this. Very simple. Put all, most of it in the middle. And you take some pepper. Be sparse on the pepper, it's pretty strong stuff. That's it. And then you're just gonna mix your vinaigrette. Now, when I use lemon juice, lemon juice is pretty strong. So I use, like to do one third lemon juice to two thirds olive oil. You just simply put this like this in the bowl, maybe three teaspoons. Use a clear container so you can tell the, the uh, proportions. Take a whisk, simply whisk it together. It'll emulsify a little bit. Emulsify means uh, it will pull the dressing together and you'll see that it's now a little cloudy. It's been emulsified and you just pour it very slowly around the salad. And uh, that's your salad right there. It's very simple. Just make, it, make sure it looks like a flower. Make it look, look like a mimosa flower. And uh, serve it to your guests and if uh, if you have any Saudi shakes at your table, make sure you have a lot of scotch.